Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking all about my luxury beauty favorites from the month of June. So if you want to see that video, just stay tuned. So now that we are in the summer months, my makeup preferences definitely change. I noticed that when we hit the hot weather, my makeup preference definitely, I definitely go for something like lighter coverage. I tend to gravitate towards more one and done eyeshadows. I want that kind of easy breezy effortless makeup. I want it to be kind of lightweight and natural looking. That's just my makeup preference, especially in the summer. So my products tend to reflect that kind of look. So if you like that look in the summer as well, then these products are for you. So starting off with a primer. In the summertime, I love to apply like a bronzy makeup primer. That is just my favorite thing. And sometimes I'll even just use the primer by itself, maybe with a little bit of concealer, and then you can kind of go about your day. That's a great kind of like daytime look. But my favorite primer for the summertime is the By Terry Brightening CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash. So these CC serums come in a few different shades, but Sunny Flash is the mo more bronzy toned one. And what I really like about this one is that this has a beautiful texture to it. So it is kind of that serum-like texture. It's very lightweight. It just bl blends and glides onto the skin very beautifully, but it's not a serum that is super hydrating. So I actually find when I use this serum, I can't use it on its own. I need to apply a little bit of something moisturizing underneath. So if I do go in with my skincare beforehand, that is fine. Um, if it's been a few hours since I've applied my skincare, then I'll need to go in with a moisturizing primer underneath this primer just because it does set down really nice. It's not a heavy feeling primer. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave your skin feeling too moisturizing or anything like that. So I do feel like if you have oily skin, you'll actually probably really like that. And if you have oily skin, you won't need to wear a moisturizer underneath this. This is going to be hydrating enough on its own. But I just love the tint that it leaves behind. Now I do want to say the bronzy tint on this, it has a little bit of a red undertone, which usually isn't my favorite, but I find it fine for this type of primer just because I do self tan. So I find that it blends into my skin a little bit nicer, but my favorite way to use this primer is using it underneath a foundation, especially a lightweight foundation. I just feel like you get a bit of that bronziness underneath so that you don't require as much foundation over top because this does perfect the skin underneath. So it's going to reduce the appearance of redness and texture on your skin. So you can be a little more light handed with your foundation over top. I just think this is beautiful. It has an ever so soft sheen to it, but I can't detect again any shimmer particles on the skin because that's not something I enjoy. But this is just beautiful in the summer months and I have just been reaching for that one kind of nonstop. My foundation favorite for this month has definitely been the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. I did pick mine up in the shade B30. Now, honestly, my perfect match is right in between the B30 and B40. But since I was just trying out this foundation, I just decided to pick it up in B30. But I think because I'm enjoying it so much, I will pick up the B40 so I can mix the two together to get my perfect shade. But this is just a phenomenal foundation. If you are someone who is a big fan of the Water Fresh Tint, which was the original formula, you will really, really love this because it's essentially the exact same foundation, except that this just has a bit more coverage. So I really like that I can get that light to medium coverage. It is buildable to maybe a medium. It's more like a light medium, but I really enjoy that because this really does look like skin. You can still see your skin texture through, which I think is really beautiful. But I really enjoy this because this does a beautiful job, similar to the Water Fresh Tint, tint to the texture of your skin. So while this isn't a typical foundation that has that perfecting effect where it just perfects your skin with a lot of coverage, this perfects more like your skin texture. It really smooths over any texture or pores on the skin and gives you that really beautiful blurred out look, which I really enjoy. And because my skin is actually a lot better, but when I was going through some health issues, I was having a little bit more skin texture. And this just smoothed over that skin texture incredibly. It was so beautiful. So I really recommend this if you are someone that does suffer from skin texture. And I really enjoy this foundation, especially now that the summer months are here, because this foundation per performs exceptionally well in the hot weather. It is so nice because it doesn't, once it's on the skin, it just sits that way, it lasts all day long, it doesn't fade, it doesn't separate, it doesn't crease, it doesn't move around. Once it's on your skin, it is just going to last all day long. 
And even if it does sort of fade away, it fades away very naturally on the skin. So you're not gonna be like, oh my gosh, I have this cakiness on the side of my face or I have this patchiness. It fades away on the skin really naturally. This is just such a wonderful, wonderful foundation. I can't really say if I like this one or the Water Fresh Tint more as of right now because it's still quite new to my collection. But I've purchased, I think, four Water Fresh Tints. And I feel like it will be very similar for this foundation as well because I just like that it has a bit more coverage. But I can still get something that is very skin-like that still doesn't look like foundation sitting on your skin. And I really, really enjoy that. This is now my new everyday foundation. I can use this every day. It never looks like too much. It never looks like not enough. It's just so incredibly beautiful. And I really like the finish of this because it just has a skin-like finish. It doesn't look too dewy. It doesn't look too dry on the skin. I just think this is perfect. Also, I have been using this as a little bit of a concealer. It actually works as a concealer under the eyes. Now it doesn't offer me as much coverage as I would like. So I still go in with my Sisley concealer, which I will show you. So what I'll do is I'll apply this all over the skin with my hands because fingers do work the best with this foundation. And then I will apply some under my eyes as well. I will use a beauty blender to blend it in under the eyes just because sometimes I just feel like my fingers are a little too harsh. And then I will just go in with the Sisley concealer just a little bit under the eyes where I'm my most dark. And it's just perfect and I love that like this would be so perfect for traveling because this is just a little plastic container. No, it's not the most luxurious looking foundation, but how it looks on the skin is very luxurious looking, I think. So I just am so, so impressed with that. So really love these two in combination. And then if I want something with a little bit more coverage, I like to just go in with the Clé de Peau. This is the concealer. So this is the new formulation. I picked mine up in the shade number four almond. Now Clé de Peau does claim that this has some brightening ingredients to help brighten the skin over time. So I was just really curious. Apparently the brightening ingredient is some sort of ginger extract. So I was just curious and wanted to see if it was like scientifically proven that there was a brightening property in ginger and I did do some research and ginger and some scientific studies show that ginger is anti-inflammatory and it inhibits melanin synthesis so it's a plant with lightning properties so I thought that was an interesting um, that it actually does have some claims to the brightening I have not noticed any brightening so far but I will follow up if I do but this concealer is just really nice because it has a beautiful coverage to it it's not too full coverage I actually feel like this is less coverage than the previous version but you can build it up and it just is it's not super emollient where it's going to slip and slide around the skin but it has enough emollients to it for it to really melt into the skin and it's a nice concealer because while it does add some beautiful coverage it's not going to look cakey in those areas and that's really important when you're looking for a facial concealer because sometimes if you have a facial concealer sometimes they might be too drying on the skin or sometimes they can even accentuate the area of where you've applied that product and you don't want that with a concealer when you're trying to cover an area and this doesn't this actually does really smooth over that area smooths over top of texture really beautifully so if you're someone with pigmentation this is just a fantastic concealer i would not recommend this for under the eyes it's just a little bit too heavy underneath the eyes but for facial concealing it is very beautiful so i've been so happy with that now this bronzer is something that i haven't even tried out on my channel yet i definitely will show you guys this in the video but i had to mention it because this is sold out in canada so if you are in the u.s get your hands on it while you can because this chanel bronzer is beautiful so this is the chanel oversized healthy glow sun kiss powder in the shade sun kiss medium this is fantastic this bronzer has blown me away I am someone who's hesitant about mentioning limited edition products because usually I don't feel like you need them, but this is an essential. This has become my probably favorite bronzer. The formulation, the texture, how this sits and looks on the skin is phenomenal. This might even be my Brilliant bronzer and my Sisley bronzer even. I really, really love this and even my Chantecaille bronzer. Like This formulation is beautiful. It's quite a powdery formula, so you just need to you know, tap off the excess product on the back of your hand. But this powder is insanely finely milled. It reminds me a lot of the Clay de Poe powders with how finely milled and just how they feel kind of like a fabric. This sits on the skin beautifully. It melts into the skin. It doesn't sit on top. It is incredibly flattering on the skin. This tone is perfect because it has enough warmth to it without it being orangey, very buildable. I just think this looks phenomenal on the skin. It blends in like a dream doesn't look heavy, doesn't emphasize texture, 
It actually has that capability and a powder to kind of smooth over texture on the skin. So if you're someone that is looking for a new bronzer or you're just looking for one bronzer to have in your collection, this is phenomenal. It's beautiful. Really, really recommend this if you guys haven't picked it up. It's one of the best bronzers I've ever tried out. I just think the formula, the texture, how it looks on the skin, everything about it is really, really lovely. And then moving on to a blush. So this is the Chanel Waterfresh Blush in the shade Intense Coral. And I did want to mention this because in my video, I was hesitant to recommend this product. And I'm still, I'm not hesitant to recommend it because I do think it is a beautiful product but I don't think it's something that's an essential in your makeup collection. I think this is just nice to have for certain circumstances. So for me, I really enjoy this when I want that really no makeup, really fresh, natural look. So if I'm going to the gym or something, or if I'm just going to run errands, or if I'm going to maybe the beach, if I want my makeup to not look like makeup, if I just want something really natural and fresh and just very youthful, this is the product I will reach for because it absolutely looks like skin when you when you do blend it into the skin. It's a little bit finicky to work with. You just have to get used to it because it is very, very pigmented. So I only go in with like a quarter of a pump. And the best way to apply this I have found is with a Beauty Blender sponge because the Beauty Blender really helps absorb any of that extra product and really blends it into the skin really beautifully as well. And I just feel like it helps really meld it into the skin. I really enjoy this um, because of the effects that it gives on the skin, like I said really looks like skin. Yeah, I've just been really enjoying this blush when I want that kind of fresh face look that is very natural. And what I really enjoy about this blush as well is that once it dries onto the skin, very similarly to the Water Fresh tint, it is not going to move. So if you're someone that really likes cream blushes, but you don't like how quick they fade away on the skin, or maybe, I don't know, sometimes cream blushes don't sit the best on top of powder, they just don't layer together very well. This layers very well over top of powder, which I was incredibly impressed with because the only other cream blush I have found to have that effect is the Clay de Pau cream blush, which you can't even buy in Canada anymore. But this is really great for more of a liquid blush formula and really, really fantastic if you are like me with sensitive skin where cream blushes don't really work for you because a lot of ingredients in cream blushes will actually react on my skin and make me break out or they will just make me have a reaction. But with this liquid blush, there is no of those, like there's none of those oils or those really emollient ingredients that actually make my skin react. So if you're someone with sensitive skin like me, who has that problem with finding cream products that work, really, really great option as well. So while I don't feel like this is an essential in your collection, it's just nice to have for those certain occasions when you want really fresh, natural looking makeup. And then when it comes to powder blush, because it is summertime, I have just been really enjoying this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Blush Duo in the shade 05 Sundra. So I would say the formula is very comparable to the Clay de Peau blush, which you have heard me rave about on and on. Very similar formula in that it is quite powdery when you pick it up with a brush, but the way it applies on the skin is so seamless. When you apply it onto your skin, it applies like a powder product would. It is quite pigmented, so go initially with a lighter hand. But after about 10 minutes after you've applied it, it just really melts into the skin and gives this really creamy look to the skin. So it doesn't sit on the skin like a powder would where it looks powdery, um, where it might emphasize texture. And this does a really great job of smoothing out the skin. This does not have any sort of shimmer particles to it, which I really enjoy as well. But I really like this shade because while there is a bit of brightness to it, it's not over the top punchy, which I just don't really enjoy personally. I like all my products to kind of be more subdued and still look a little bit more natural, but sometimes it is nice to have a little bit more color, especially in the summertime. And I just think this blush duo is very flattering. So we have this kind of more deepened corally shade, which is a bit brighter. And then we have this very neutral peachy tone. I just think these shades are very flattering, especially for my complexion. With my hair color, I find it hard to pair blushes because my hair is quite warm. And while this isn't too vibrant, it is vibrant enough to add quite a nice youthful glow to the skin. And I just think that it's really beautiful, especially in the summer months when I want something that's maybe not super neutral. This is just really beautiful. And then for the highlighter, I have just been really, really loving this Clay de Peau. This is the Luminizing Face Enhancer in the shade number 16 Almond. Now I do believe that Clay de Peau is either reformulating this or they're just coming out with more shades. 
So I definitely will pick one of those up to kind of compare, but I really am happy with this formulation. It is so beautiful. Again, this is different than those big jelly powders that I like. This, the, the texture of this is so beautiful. It's just incredibly, incredibly finely milled. If you're familiar with Clay de Peau products, just the texture of them is so beautiful. They're very buttery, insanely finely milled, even though this is more powdery. But what it does for the complexion is it just gives the most beautiful glow. You can't actually detect, because sometimes with highlighters, you can actually see where you've applied the highlighter. You can't actually see the product sitting on your skin, but what you get is this beautiful, beautiful glow. It is the most sophisticated, beautiful glow because it just gives your skin life. I just, I love it. it there's something special about this highlighter that um, I haven't really found in other highlighters, and I'm just so impressed with this. I really like the color of this as well. It's kind of that like champagne shade. But on the cheeks, you can't really detect a shade. It just gives you a really nice glow that really enhances your makeup look. So I've just been really happy with that. And then moving on to eyes, you guys have heard me go on about this Tom Ford. This is the Eyeshadow Quad Creme Formula. Really, really beautiful kind of cream to powder formulation that I just really enjoy. And I really like all these shimmers because they're the most beautiful soft satin sheen. There is no detectable shimmer particles in it. It's very refined on the eyes. So this will be fantastic if you're someone with mature eyes as well. My mom, she is in her 60s and she picked up this palette is really enjoying how it works on her skin as well. Because these colors, they just have the tendency to sort of melt on the eyes. They're not going to sit on top of the eyes. They're just going to melt in and give you this really beautiful refined glow on the eyes, but it's not going to be, again, too shimmery, too over the top. You could wear this to work. You could wear this out in the evening as well. Really multi-purpose. So my favorite thing to do is I start with this deeper shade, work it onto the lash line, and these colors are really buildable and blendable as well. So you can start out with something that's really soft, but you can build it up. Um, really, really beautiful formulation. So I'll start out with this as an eyeliner. And then usually go in when, with one of these three, or I'll just mix them all together and apply on the lid. But today what I did, and another one of my favorite just one and done eyeshadows, especially in the summertime, I just tend to gravitate towards a one and done. I like something that's easy breezy, effortless. And this is the Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Color in the shade Copper, which is what just one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows just in general. But this formulation is very, very similar to the Tom Ford Eyeshadow Quad. They both have that kind of cream to powder formulation. This Shock to Kai Mermaid eye color just has a bit more pigmentation to it. So I really like to, like today, I just added this over top of the Tom Ford quad just because it's just a little bit more pigmented. So just it gives you a bit more glow. It just kind of finishes off the look really beautifully, especially if I am maybe going out at night and I just want something a little bit more pigmented. But again, it gives you a sheen without those glitter chunks, without those glitter flecks or anything just gives you that wonderful sophisticated sheen that looks beautiful for any occasion. So just a little bit more pigmented than the Tom Ford quad, but very, very similar formulations. And I just think that this is absolutely beautiful if you do want that kind of one and done shade. But again, it's very flattering for any age, any occasion. Just absolutely love that. And then moving on to lips, I just have a few products. So I've just been loving this Sisley Photo Rouge Shine in the shade Nude, but I've talked about this one, and I just want to mention a few more similar formulas. So the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Flash in the shade Boy, <laughs> that's all I have left, like I can't even wind it up. So I am almost finished with this shade. I got to pick up another one, but they're a very similar color. I would just say the formulations are just slightly different. This Chanel Rouge Cocoa Flash is going to leave a bit more of a glossy finish. This one kind of adheres to the lips, the Sisley one, just a little bit more and just gives a bit more of a sheen to it. Um, but both very beautiful formulas. If you want something a bit more glossy that's going to fade away a bit faster, Rouge Cocoa Flash. This one's going to adhere to the lips a little bit more. And then if you want something that adheres to the lips a little bit more but still gives you that really lightweight lipstick feel that is a hybrid between a gloss and a lipstick, ultra comfortable, super easy to touch up, but it's just slightly longer lasting, slightly more pigmented. This is the Chantecaille Lip Chic in the shade Patience. They're all very, very similar in tone, 
but they all just differ a little in how they adhere to the lips. So this one again adheres to the lips a little bit more. It's a little bit more waxier compared to the others. So you're just gonna get like slightly more longevity, maybe like, I don't know, 45 minutes more. But you get that beautiful color payoff. This one's just slightly different because there's not as much as a sheen to it. But I just love how it looks on the lips. It just makes your lips look even better, especially when you're going for something easy, breezy, effortless, where you don't even want to like line the lips, where you just want something casual. Fantastic pro product. This is what I reach for all summer long. Kind of either one of these three. These live in my handbags. They're fantastic. I quickly want to mention kind of a lifestyle favorite because it is the summertime and when it's the summertime, you need a good pair of jean shorts. Now these, can you even see them? These are a pair of shorts from Abercrombie and Fitch. These are called the Mum Short and they are high rise. And I really, really enjoy these jean shorts. First of all, I find it incredibly hard to find jeans that fit my body because I am quite slim, but I am quite athletic like quite muscular. So a lot of the times jeans will fit in the waist, but they won't fit in the legs. Um, but these are perfect because they're from the curve love kind of section of Abercrombie Fitch. So they are supposed to fit you if you are like more muscular or maybe you just have a bit more curves to you. And these are perfect shorts. They're perfect for the summertime. My kind of summertime uniform is a good pair of jean shorts with like some cute runners and maybe like a cute like white or black tank top, like crop top sort of thing. I just love that. And I really enjoy these because they cover your butt, which is essential. I don't want my butt hanging out. Um, so they're good for that as well. And I just find that they fit really, really nice. They're just really flattering shorts. They come up a bit more high rise, which I enjoy as well. Um, I picked the size 24, it's a double zero. That's usually the size I go for in jeans. It's a 24 or a zero or a double zero. They fit me perfectly. They fit my legs perfectly. They fit my waist perfectly. Just everything about these shorts I love. So I'm glad that I can finally find jeans that fit me all around. And I just really love these. So if you haven't tried out the Abercrombie jeans, they're actually really, really nice. They're good quality jeans. And then the last favorite that I have to mention, these are Nike blazers, but they're called blazer low platforms. So the typical Nike blazers kind of have like a high top and they don't have the platform. They're just like, I don't know, they have like a little, a little platform, I guess you could say. These actually have a platform. They don't add that much height, but I like a sneaker that adds a little bit of height. I'm just someone that likes to wear heels or wedges or something that gives me a little bit more height, even though I'm not really short. I'm like five, five and a half. I still like something that just gives me a little bit of a lift. And I like that these shoes are classic. They're just all white. They give you a little bit of something extra. And I just really like this combination in the summer. Just love this. White sneakers, jean shorts, white tank top. I just think it's a really cute go-to outfit that is really nice. And I like these sneakers because you can also dress down an outfit. Like if I want to wear a dress, but it's maybe more a casual event in where I live, people are just very casual. This is a nice way to kind of casual down an outfit, but you still get a little bit of height, which I really enjoy. So I just really like these Nike blazers. They do have different colors, like the little check, you can get different colors. I just like to be all white because they're just classic. But that is it for all my luxury beauty favorites for the month of June with a little bit of lifestyle thrown in there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below your beauty favorites for the month of June because I do like to write everything down and try them out eventually. And I would love to hear from you and keep the discussion going down in the comments section. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it. And I will see you in my next video.